Welcome to Narnia. I am literally in my element right now. We never get a decent covering of snow by the sea and today an amber weather warning was issued for here in the east and central belt of Scotland and the Met Office were not wrong. We woke up this morning to pretty deep snow but the coast is very deep anyway. Luckily all my plans for today have been cancelled because of the weather so I'm going to come out with my camera, take some images and really challenge myself. Okay, it's currently half past 10 in the morning, normally not the best time of day to shoot. However, because we've got snow showers approaching from all angles, as you can see over here, we've got stunning snow, beautiful light. I'm going to go out and take some photos. The difference today is I've not taken any of my gear with me apart from my camera and a lens which I have not used for many, many years. And I'm going to challenge myself to get some handheld shots today of the snow glistening in the sunshine with some stunning dramatic clouds in the background. I'm going to get some intimate shots of the landscape, try to focus on things which I don't normally photograph. Rather than getting the big vistas, I'm going to focus on some of the smaller things and see what images I can get. I'm so excited for this. I've got the whole day free. And I'm just going to enjoy being out in the snow. Wow, this is unbelievable. We've got a blizzard right now, but it's so great to be out in this. I'm going to take you up to the top of this bit right now because the views of the sea and all the waves crashing around me, it's just incredible. Are you ready for this? of nature is truly incredible. It's days like today when you realise how powerful the sea is. And being out here in this blizzard and just watching the waves crashing around me, it's so exhilarating and it makes me feel so alive. While so many people are cooped up in their houses in front of the fire, eating comfort food, I am one of the only people out here right now embracing this. Bad weather can be very dangerous, but if you keep yourself safe and get out in it, it's just incredible. Look at these waves crashing behind me. Anyway, let's continue the walk, see if we can get some good images. Unfortunately, the lens I've got with me, it's one that I bought years ago, and I've never really used it because the focus doesn't work properly, and even manually focusing it, it's just, it's not really working very well. But I wanted to take it out with me today because I've not used it for years and use it as a challenge. This, these conditions are challenging already for photography. So trying to challenge myself to get images with a lens that doesn't really work is going to be even more challenging. But if I get some interesting images, it will be well worth it. So let's go carry on this snowy adventure and see what else we're going to discover. camera out see if I can get this lens working and take some really interesting shots of this grass something completely different but it's a challenge and photography is all about challenging yourself 
like getting out of your comfort zone and seeing what you can discover. And there's something quite nice about getting close to the ground and photographing stuff which other people would walk by and not even think twice about. It's all about embracing nature and embracing the things which other people fail to appreciate in this life. if any of those photos are any good but this is so exhilarating getting down on the ground enjoying the snow enjoying these insanely beautiful conditions unusual conditions trying to challenge yourself in new photographic ways let's carry on we're gonna walk now into the village of Burghead which is down there as you can see in the distance this is a village very close to my heart and I am off where my landscape photography journey all began to try and see if we can get some nice images at some of the iconic locations in this village on this stunning wintry snowy day you wouldn't think that tomorrow was the first of march we're heading close to the spring but the harsh scottish winter is still continuing here but you know what i'm embracing it and right now i'm absolutely loving it as well I mean, what's not to love about this is well and truly happening right now and this is just one of these days where it's just so good and exhilarating to get out in it. Just look at this, the weather right now is insane. We have got blizzard conditions, it's absolutely freezing, driving snow, it's moments like these that just make me feel so alive. Who cares about getting soaked to the skin? Who cares about getting frozen hands? Just embrace it and enjoy it. Unfortunately the conditions are too bad just now to get my camera out, but I don't care. I am out enjoying the weather and this kind of weather is just well worth getting out to enjoy because you don't get it that often and it's absolutely insane right now. Ooh. I feel like I'm in the Arctic, it's so cold!
the light right now is pretty epic. The sun has come out again. It's still snowing. <sighs> this place is amazing. Some of you may recognise this location from my Aurora video that I shot at the end of last year. So not only can you view the Northern Lights from up here, but you can get some cracking snow. Actually, you can't. This is the first time in years there's been snow up here like this. Oh my goodness. One of the great things about this place is that you can watch the weather fronts coming in over the sea, embrace the elements and just enjoy it. Wow. <laughs> this morning has been unforgettable. And it's not over yet. Let's see what else is going to happen as I walk around the rest of this village. This place is so special to me. I just love it. And this spot here is a famous spot for watching dolphins and whales in the summer. To give you a bit of a history here as well, not only is this spot great for spotting dolphins and whales, there's a hill, a wee hill over there where there is a ceremony called the burning of the clavy that happens on the 11th of January every year to celebrate the Pictish New Year. I was going to film a video from it this year because it is an amazing celebration but unfortunately I was very very ill that day and although I still attended it I didn't have the energy to film a video. So next year that is hopefully going to be on my to-do list. Take you guys along to the clavy with me because it's such a great thing to enjoy. Now the sun is out, I'm going to get my camera out again. I'm going to take some photos of the, the houses with the snow on them. This is quite a unique image for here. For, for here because like I say, we don't get snow at the seaside that often in this part of Scotland. And today, being able to stay off to enjoy this, I feel so incredibly privileged right now. Even the harbour is covered in snow. You really do not see this very often. I was hoping to get a nice image of the pier. It's a very iconic pier. But somebody called Oz has decided to write their name on this in the snow and it's just not going to happen, unfortunately. But some things are just not meant to be. And we will continue our walk and see what else we can discover on this snowy Wednesday morning. Just look at this though. This is absolutely amazing, so beautiful, so unique and unusual and such a great thing to experience.
that's the end of another vlog. This morning was a total spur of the moment thing. I was supposed to be volunteering at a nature reserve all day today, but because of the weather, it was obviously cancelled. So I just thought I had to get out and make this video. Just enjoy being in the snow and take you all out with me. I hope some of the images that I captured throughout this morning are good enough to show in this vlog. And if so, I hope you enjoyed them. Just to say thank you all again for watching. I appreciate all your support and I cannot believe how much this channel has grown in the past few months. It just doesn't make any sense to me. But thank you to every single person who watches my videos. It means so much to me. And yeah, thank you all again for watching. I've got some really exciting stuff coming up the rest of this year, so stay tuned. And I will see you all again next time.